Hi guys, so today I'm doing my Gemini's and I'm just gonna kind of pull from random decks that I have. This is the Hidden Truth Oracles. So many things remind me of you, so, so you are on their mind. I couldn't let you get close to me. I wonder if you are happy without me. So it could be somebody you're actually in separation with that is still really thinking about you though. And it's like, it's something that maybe they didn't tell you or they, wasn't, they didn't want to reveal to you, but they are wondering like if you are happy without them and like things are reminding them still of you. I want to feel that way again. So yeah, this is somebody you could be in separation with right at this time that is heavily thinking of you. Oh, them cars is jumping out for y'all guys. The timing just wasn't right for us. I'm gonna take one more from this deck that flew out. And it, I hide behind material things. So yeah, somebody is could be real materialistic and like could make, you know, a lot of money or is, you know, successful or something in like the way they could have behind their insecurities is material things. And they let that speak for them instead of being honest and truthful with themselves. They are dealing with some things and they, it, a lot of things are coming up for them. It's like, it's, it's a lot that I guess they're being forced to think about at this time. So if you do think you know that the material things is, is truly making them happy and they don't think of you and they don't think about, you know, certain situations, they do. And no matter what, guys, material things are worldly. Like everything is spiritual at the end of the day. Yes, it's nice to have nice things, but at the end of the day, no matter what, the way you act, and the things that we do matter. It really matters. Because God has a way of putting that stuff right back in your face. And forcing you to address certain things in the way you treat the people. Lessons. Lessons. You have to learn. If not, you just continue cycles. Continue the same cycles over and over again. Patience. Some things still need to be dealt with for this connection to manifest. So yeah, it's a need to have patience, guys. We don't want to rush anything that you that that comes fast and that's not divinely guided won't be sustainable. You, and anything done without the will of God is not really going to last. Like behind the scenes, it's things that maybe your spirit guide guys or their spirit guides are still dealing with on behalf of this connection. Don't try to rush things and get in the way of divine, um, divine intervention. Everything is already happening. When we try to uh, get in and do things on our own, we mess up what is already being done behind the scenes that we can't always see. You have to trust. Don't you trust and you put that mindset on that you know something good is happening? then you can you can live in with the flow you know be present and live with the flow of knowing that god got you the universe got you your ancestors got you and that's just that boundaries you need to teach people how to treat you by being clear on what you will or won't allow exactly stop rushing things and put those boundaries up it, it is hard sometimes when we expect for people to know how to treat us everybody's on different paths and learning different lessons and it's like in order for you to show people how much you respect yourself you have to put these boundaries up so that they know you pray for the strength and you pray for and the resilience to put up your boundaries and don't crack and you'll find yourself in way better situations. Beware of codependency. So addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life.
So somebody could be codependent. And a lot of people don't like that. If you if you are being too codependent, too clingy, or needy with people, try to find that self-sufficiency. I don't know, this could be maybe somebody let y'all go or take it as it resonates. Somebody kind of like put a stop to this relationship, so blocked you, cut you off, whatever the case may be, ghosted you because maybe you started being too codependent on this person too needy on this person and sometimes that could be a turn off it's like when you become the chaser and you get too clingy to a person it's like that could be a turn off and it makes people want to disconnect from that energy because it's not fun anymore it's like you're not allowing them to want you because you're being too clingy and codependent on them you know what i'm saying Sometimes you just have to set those boundaries and not be so attached to what somebody has or what somebody can do for you and try to find that within you. Anything we, we want in another person, we already have in ourselves. Once you find that, you won't be so clingy, balanced. So yes, it's a need to find the balance. There needs to be a healthy balance of physical emotional and spiritual intimacy for a, a relationship to be sustainable and that is so deep because it goes with all of this it's like if it's not a balance like if two people don't feel the same way or if two people is not given the same amount let's just say emotionally if you are this much in love and they this much in love it's like you would never feel complete. You would never feel fulfilled. And you know what I'm saying? It's off balance. So it's not intertwined. It's not working. It's not meshing well. You know what I'm saying? Because you up here with your love, they down here. It's not coinciding. So it's a need for balance in any relationship. It won't be sustainable without both parties giving the same amount of each of those energies. So yeah, letting go. If someone, if someone leave you confused more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. Wow, balance and boundaries. If you feel more confused and comforted by a person, that is basically your answer in anything you need to know. And it's time to set those boundaries necessary to let this go and if it's meant to be it'll be but you'll feel stronger setting those boundaries you will feel so good about yourself for making those right decisions for you and it's like then the the ball will be in your court nobody is controlling the narrative of your life it's your journey you control your happiness you control who has access to you and i didn't want it to be this long uh my gemini's let me get one more card. But y'all have to stay optimistic and trust that better is really coming. Unconditional love. And I really feel like this is like self-love that with no conditions, no negativity, no fear-based thinking when it comes to yourself. You have to find that love and that strength and that resilience that you've always had that got you through every other situation. And latch on to that and keep going forward. Find what you what makes you happy outside of people and outside of expectations for people. And be the person that you've been all along, the person that's inside of you already. Find that unconditional love within distance the separation you are experiencing is necessary to help the relationship grow yes everything happens for a reason know that this is this is a challenge that is meant to teach you a lesson be good to you to show others how to treat you starts with you and how you treat yourself i hope that helped gemini's i'm sorry if i rambled on until next time